The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate T-cell function in the absence of the thymus. This is accomplished by first intubating the rat and then opening the chest to expose the thymus. Next, the thymus is dissected from the surrounding tissues and hemostasis is obtained. In the final step, the incision is closed in layers. Ultimately, the peripheral blood mononuclear cell population can be evaluated by flow cytometric analysis for the presence of naive T-cells in the absence of thymus function. The main advantages of this technique over the existing methods of thymectomy are that with this technique, the airway is controlled by a simple intubation tube, the size of the sternal incision is minimized, the positive pressure ventilation with PEEP prevents pneumothorax, and the mortality rates are minimized. Demonstrating the procedure will be myself and Toria Rendell, a fourth year medical student at Duke University from my laboratory. To prepare the tracheal intubation cannula, first use cutting pliers to remove the needle end of a 2 inch 14 gauge angiocatheter needle. Pinch the lumen of the needle closed with needle nosed pliers, and then use the cutting pliers to remove the pinch section down to the edge of the open lumen portion. Next, cut the edges on both sides of the remaining end at a 30 to 45 degree angle to the needle edge and place the bottom 3 to 4 millimeters of the cannula into the open area of a pair of straight slip joint pliers. Pull up until a slight upward curve has been formed and use fine sandpaper to smooth down the edges at the end of the cannula. Then return the